Hey guys, Greg and Stacy back, bringing you another video. Today we're talking about saving money, buying certain things from Amazon. All these products we use practically every day, we think that it might be beneficial. Not only, not only do we use them every day, but the cheapest we've found them is actually on Amazon, which is why we're making this video, so you guys are aware. However, if you do th find these things cheaper in store, local, Definitely support your local store. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if it's a chain store, please let us know. So we yeah, can... absolutely. Because we're having a hard time finding stuff that yep. non-chain stores. No, we're having a hard time finding stuff at the chain stores that is available on Amazon. It's usually a little very, I mean, because a lot of this stuff, a lot of keto stuff or alternative stuff is expensive. And if you're going to the health food store, it's outrageous. Okay, guys. So this is the Keto Mojo. And this is the glucose and ketone tester. Um, it comes with a kit, which has like 15. Uh, we talked about this and a little bit more involved in another video. But what this is, is um, this will test your, your ketones and your blood, as well as your glucose in your blood. Um, it comes with, I think it's like 20 lances. Um, but if you're like us and test your stuff like once a week, you're gonna probably quickly run out of those. It comes with a lancer. Um, and then you can buy this. I think this is like 20 bucks and it's like 300 lances. So that'll last you a while. The ketone strips are about a buck each. All the links for this stuff will be down below. Uh, the glucose are a lot cheaper. I think it's like 20 bucks for 50 or 100, something like that. I mean, you can test it as much as you want. Generally speaking, we, we test after like doing a, a change or on Sundays. That's pretty much our test day. This Bluetooth enabled um, blood pressure monitor, also linked below, will um, let you kind of keep track with an app that you can record your blood pressure. Um, it does keep things and it's for two users, so we can switch back and forth. Um, this thing works really well. We're very happy with this. Bulletproof coffee, you add these with some butter, add it to your coffee, you got bulletproof coffee. Um, and uh, this is what really I started with for um, keto um, because these two, primarily this one, this will give you a bunch of fats in. So once, until you figure out your diet overall, um, this is a way, great way to get some fats in. Um, yeah, I think it's like 17 grams of fat. 14, I believe. Yeah, 14 grams of fat. Oh, 14. Yep. For one tablespoon. For one tablespoon, right. So, but again, this is something you start slow with. Yeah, work your way up to the tablespoon. So great way to get some extra fats in um, and a great way to uh, help you get into ketosis quicker. Supplements. So these are the these are the three main supplements. But I just got this recently and this um, is really helped me a lot with um, getting my blood pressure. So the K2 is important for blood pressure. This is just a dropper. You just basically I'll show you there. I haven't actually taken mine yet today. You just stick out your tongue, couple drops. And you're done. Stacy takes these, this is an unopened. We have an open one. I'm not sure why we grabbed this one. Oh, this one just came in the mail today because we have a subscription. Um, but, so this one, this helps, this is like bile salts um, mm -hmm. that helps Stacy break down. She doesn't have a gallbladder as we talked about in one of our other videos. So she kind of needs a little of that digestive help. Um, and this seems to have helped you a lot, right? No rashes, none of that. Yeah, I haven't had a rash since the one time and I haven't had the um, pain in your shoulder. Pain yeah. So since the one day. So this is this is a good product. Um, it's a little cheaper than the Dr. Berg version um, and it seems to be just as effective. Okay guys, so magnesium supplement. Um, probably the most important one we have mm -hmm. because if you don't take some of this, you don't get enough of it. From your food. Stacy gets a pain in her ass. You also get pains like in your legs. I get it in my knees and I'll get cramps in the middle of the night and I'll wake up and it's... it's I remember it's you talking good. about the foot cramps and I never had any cramps. Yeah. I just get the the deep... Bone, like deep growth bone pain. Deep pain, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't get those. I get the cramps. So yeah. So if you get those and you have, uh, you're not taking a, a magnesium supplement and you're not eating enough leafy greens, or a lot of the magnesium comes from um, because your body purges itself when you're on keto body purges yourself of all the electrolytes and stuff all the minerals so you need to make sure you get the extra sodium magnesium potassium um, potassium is not too hard to get um, don't get it from bananas though. yeah 
So we, we do get, we do have zip fizz. Not all of these are mandatory by any means, but these are some of the things that we found after doing three, two months. Um, so a total collective five months on the keto diet. Um, these are some of the things that we've definitely um, sort of adapted into an everyday type of situation. So obviously the supplements. Ziffiz is a pretty staple. I have this probably five out of seven days. I drink it every day. Every day. So It's really good. It, it is good. Um, and I'm worth it. To me, it's worth sacrificing two carbs. Yeah, two carbs, no sugars. Um, we've talked about this quite a bit in one of the other videos, but um, potassium, magnesium, and sodium are all in here. Uh, sodium, smaller amount, because that's pretty easy. I mean, table salt, right? Um, as you can see, we have a bit of a supply, um, which I used to be much larger than this. Stacy's probably starting to get concerned that we don't have enough of yeah. a specific flavor. Yeah, this. Yeah. The black cherry is dwindling. Yeah, it's dwindling. We need more immediately. <laughs> so this would be her favorite flavor if she wasn't the only one that consumes it. She knows this is always going to be available. <laughs> so she drinks this. You know what? I really like this too, but I try not to drink it because I know it's Mason's favorite. It is Mason's favorite. Mason, so my son, my 16-year-old son, uh, this is his morning go-to drink. He doesn't drink coffee. He doesn't drink tea. But this is a, a great little pick-me-up, especially after a long weekend of studying and... He does all these. Or a long really, night of studying. Yeah, he does all these high end classes and stuff in high school. So he's a lot better than Bola Boss when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, and that's so. better than him drinking like a monster or Oh yeah, totally. Which is a lot of what kids are drinking. Red these Bull, days. Yeah. which I used to drink a lot of. I keep trying to get my twenty three year old daughter to, to switch over to this, but So anyway, zip fizz. Yes. Love the zip fizz. Love the zip fizz. So Amazon snacks. Um, as you can tell. We love our moon cheese and we love our almonds. Uh, so these are pretty much the only keto snacks we really have in the house. Um, mm -hmm. And they have kind of become a staple. So moon cheese, now this stuff is good. It's just cheese. Um, there's practically, there's one carb per serving, which is like 12 grams, about seven Depending to eight the pieces. Type, because there's yeah, one th in this one. There's, there's a, they're a little different. So this, this is five grams of fat. This is five, five, Five. So the fat's all the same. Yeah, fat's all the same. Uh, protein, five, four on the pepper jack, five on the mozzarella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cheddar is five as well. All right. So pretty close to the same. Pepper jack has a little less protein um, and zero carbs for all of these. But if you add up the grams, you can see that there's some, maybe like 0.25 or something like that um, per per amount. So if it's less, the way the nutrition stuff works is if it's less than 0.5, they can say zero if the serving size is certain. So a lot of companies will just change the serving size so that they can put zero on it. Um, but I mean, cheese has some, right? So what we use these things for is movies. This is our, our snacking. Stacy loves the pepper jack. We've gone through all of the ones we got uh, of these and we bought more. I think you found them right some, someplace. She found them someplace locally as well somewhere. Yeah, so, but that's not cheap. <laughs> no, they're not cheap. These are not cheap, but these I are good quality this snacks. Same size was. And I and I feel okay eating this. I mean, it's cheese, right? So um, I don't know if we've even dived into these two I don't yet think we have. because those are more my speed and probably less yours. Yeah, I don't know that I like the good. So here's here's a tip though. So we have the cheddar, <clears throat> right? And it's a two ounce package. So there is roughly four and a half servings. And this container, um, which I mean, you can easily polish half the bag off in a in a movie. Um, it's like eight bucks for these. Uh, if you buy them, if you buy them in singly, if you buy them in a collection, which is what we did, I think you get them for like five or five, something like that. Costco sells this. This is ten ounces, so five times larger than this, and they sell this for ten bucks. Unfortunately, that's the only flavor they sell. Otherwise, we would be swimming in these. Yeah, I mean, literally, I like these two. So if if they offered the pepper jack in this size, I mean, these wouldn't even be present um, because we just have a stockpile of them, right? So moon cheese, great movie snack. Twenty three point five servings in this thing, and it's like two dollars more. So if you got a local Costco membership um, and you like this flavor, by all means, check them out. Moon cheese. Now we're talking almonds. So almonds is another great snack um, that 
just not gonna mess with your diet. Each of these have a little bit different. So my favorite kind here is the habanero, bar habanero barbecue. Stacy's has a little snack pack size that she likes, and that's the sriracha. And she'll take those to work with her to fill in, um, whatever. Um, the, I mean, the habanero barbecue. And this is one serving, yeah. so you don't even have to worry about trying to count. Right, right. Um, Otherwise, you got to count out 28. Yeah, 28. 28 nuts is a serving. Well, that's just, it's a pretty sizable serving, right? So it's yeah, one ounce of so 28 it's nuts. This. Yeah. Um, the this has 15. These both have 16. What, how much is yours? <clears throat> this is actually 1.5 ounces. And what are we looking at? Those are 23 fat. Fat. Yeah. So this is 23. Yeah. So that's a yeah that's a little bit more than what these are. So that ounce is listed a little higher than this. Yeah, and it's four right. net carbs. Yeah. So that's four. This is two net carbs per serving. This is two net carbs per serving. And this is two net carbs per serving. So, so if you're really concerned about it, you could probably do three quarters of the bag. Yeah. And it'd be equal yeah, to it'd that. Yeah, it'd be about, about the same. The funny thing about this one is there was a girl that I was training at work and she saw them sitting on my desk and she was like, oh, can I try that? You know, so I let her try it. And uh, she was like, those are so good. I think my sister would love them, blah, blah, blah. And she asked where I got them. So I said, we got them on Amazon. She's like, okay, I'm gonna try and find them. She looked all over, can't find them locally. So she ended up buying them on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So and those are those are great. I wish they had more, like the Sriracha ones are really good. So that's probably my second favorite. Like these are pretty close in my opinion. Um, these are also good, um, but and those are the perfect size. So just take with you. You know, mm -hmm. throw them in a bag, whatever, you're good to go. Again, good for movie snacking. Yeah, absolutely. So those are our primary snacks. Sweeteners. All right, so we got Canto, we got Swerve, we got Lilies, and we got some Lacanto uh, liquid drops. So the Swerve is straight up erythritol, just grounded into, grounded, ground, ground into a powder. Lacanto is erythritol, but it has monk fruit sweetener in it. We had straight up erythritol, um, have not reordered it because we have found that when baking with this, if you don't eat it before it cools, it will have a cooling effect. Once it cools off, you take a bite into it. Like I've been making these cookies. I've been trying to get a cookie recipe kind of perfective, perfected. Um, once it cools, it has like, it tastes like the cookie has been in the refrigerator sometimes or doesn't taste. It feels, I guess, in your mouth. It's like a mint without the mint flavor. From our friends, they have decided they like the stuff made with the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener erythritol better than the straight up erythritol. Nine keto friends. Right. Except for one of my friends at work. She absolutely loves the cooling effect. She thinks it's the best, but to each their own. Um, another thing we have that we use, you can you can use this in baking. One thing I want to play around with is using a little less of this and putting in some sweetener um, because it won't change. It'll change the, the flavor, um, but it hopefully won't change the texture too much. It might have some texture changes just because you're using less dry ingredient. Um, so there's a lot of playing around that you have to do there to get that to work. Um, but we have different flavors. We've got uh, vanilla, chocolate, regular, and lemon. Um, these can be used in, we've used them in coffee, we've used them in tea. I think you've used it in water. Yeah, add it in carbonated water or regular water. The lemon. You can add it, yeah. Um, definitely recommend buying this stuff on Amazon. We've seen these in a local health food store. Um, I don't remember what the cost was on this one, but this one we actually... This was $30 for the whole thing. Um, but the quarter size of this, I think was $20 in the local store. So yeah, I didn't even look at that one. This one, however, I ran out and had to have more because I was baking more cookies. And this is a three pound bag that we can get for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And it's $21. And I think you can get cheaper if you do the, the buy and save thing, the subscribe, subscribe thing. Yeah. Um, for 8.25 ounces or something like that in our local store, um, it was on sale for five dollars on sale um, The I think they had a bigger bag which was 
They had a one pound bag, which was 12 one bucks. One pound, yeah, and it was normal price $12, which is absolutely insane. Um, so if you're gonna buy it, definitely buy it on Amazon. All three of these types of sweeteners, if you're gonna use them in any kind of volume. <laughs> Links to all this stuff will be down below. Mm -hmm. um, we do our part of the Amazon affiliates. So anything you buy after clicking on our link will go to help our channel. We only get mm -hmm. a few pennies, but and nothing out of extra out of your pocket. So it's just yeah. Amazon gives us a little bit of sponsoring on these types of things. These are all items that we use like all the time. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I want to talk about because because I do all the baking. Um, is the Lily's chocolate chips. These are actually um, pretty good. They're not, they say they're dark chocolate, but they do have the sweetener in there, the stevia. So um, they're not nasty dark chocolate. <laughs> I like nasty dark chocolate. <laughs> um, I like dark chocolate too, but not super dark chocolate. I think she's talking about unsweetened dark chocolate for you dark yeah. chocolate fans. I guess, yeah. Um, so these have been really good. We've used them in cookies. We've used them in um, fat bombs. We've used them in mug cakes. Um, I haven't ventured too far out, out of that with these yet. Yeah. Just because I'm, I still have certain recipes that I'm trying to perfect um, before moving on to other ones. They're not but, cheap. Yeah, and they're, I, I mean, you can do the subscription and probably get more, a cheaper, I don't know. But we bought, the last time we, we bought these several times now. And the last time we bought them, we bought a four pack. Yeah. And they were about, what, 20 bucks or something? Yeah, like for about four or five bucks a bag. And I think if you find them in the store, they normally run about seven, eight dollars. Six, six yeah. to eight dollars, depending on where you find them. I think the bag's bigger them. too. Um, no, I think it's the same size bag. Is it? I could be wrong, but I think it's the same size. But um, they're really good, so I would definitely recommend trying these. I was reluctant, actually, yeah. when we first got them. I was like, ah, it's dark chocolate. I don't know how it's going to You can have low-carb pancakes. Yeah, there's a, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff yeah. with these. I mean, anything you use chocolate chips for as They a snack. actually have a peanut butter cup recipe on the back, which oh. I never noticed until now, and I think I'm going to try those <laughs> because who doesn't love peanut butter cups? Um, so yeah, these are our sweeteners that we use quite often. Um, definitely recommend Absolutely. getting them from Amazon if you want to save some money. Uh, the last items that we have that we use all the time um, and some coffee. I think you can actually buy these things direct from Kicking Horse, um, which is the name of the coffee thing. Uh, this is a whole bean coffee. They do have the ground coffee too. This is like one of my favorite coffees right here. Um, and. They, so this one is the earthy, sort of a Sumatra-ish blend. Um, and this is more of a smoky, sort of a French Roche-ish uh, blend. roche -ish. French roche -ish. I'm making roche -ish. I'm making up new names here, okay? <laughs> See? These are made in Canada. I didn't know Canada's, Canadians, I didn't know Canadians knew uh, new coffee, but they do. These are good. You should definitely check these out. So those are great. Xanthan gum. The new fiber starchy thickening agent. So this is pretty much in uh, everything. Like we use it mm -hmm. for almost anything. Like we're, we, we've only had this bag for a couple months and it's almost empty. So, um, and you only use a little bit at a time. So mm -hmm. thickening up stews, soups, um, giving texture of breads. I mean, this stuff. Use it in baking too. Yep. Um, it helps um, with like, I think it's the chewiness yeah. of like cookies. Yeah. And we've had good luck with the Anthony's brand. Mm -hmm. um, also with the Anthony's brand is the psyllium husk powder. Now this, I think we've only used this for mug cakes and bread. Mm -hmm. This is basically, this kind of replaces the gluten element of, of flour and wheat. So, um, but, this is uh, this is good. We actually got a new kind uh, that's supposed to be a little better for bread. It's the Now brand, so we'll link both of those down there. We haven't tried it yet for bread, but that's that's not my plan. So what what this does is, like I said, it's sort of the the binding agent that all the other stuff sort of sticks to, like gluten. So you're gonna make your own bread. You're probably gonna need some of this, unless it's gonna be super eggy bread. We talked about our snacks. We talked about our zip fizz. And we talk about our stuff that we do. All right, guys, so that's it. So you can help us support our channel by clicking on any of the affiliate links for any of these products down below. Uh, they will all be linked down there. Um, not only that, but you can also toss us a like, give us a subscribe uh, if you're new here, 
and hit the bell to make sure you hit the bell. 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 Stay keto. <laughs>